Hello, and welcome to a new episode of How Many, your podcast all about pop culture and four guys discussing what's significant. I am one of your hosts, Jesse Jackson. Joining me today is... Metzken Jr. Scott. And Bob. Hey, Bob, that's not a bad um, introduction. No, I'm trying. I'm working on it. Bob is sporting his uh, Joust video game shirt today. Midway Classic Arcade... I'm very, I'm very jealous. Well, he's, he's I got jealous. it at Walmart. That is a really nice shirt. I was trying, wanting to get one of the Black Panther shirts, but one of them didn't fit, and then the other one, it was just way too big of a graphic. What was graphic. it, just like the Black Panther mask? No, one of them it was like a comic book, like the old school oh, comic nice. book on the cover. It was cool. I liked it. Well, you yeah. are you're here you're sporting a new confidence. Well, you know, let's face yes, it. I'm less time. of a deadbeat than I was <laughs> last time. Yeah, you know, this is actually, I have to give confidence. The last time we recorded... You said, oh, and next recording session, I'll have a gig. Oh, wow. I called my shot. Yeah. You called your shot. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. at the time, we were like, eh. Yeah. Um, you were so, a little despondent, kind of that wet puppy look, you yeah, know, when you I came was, in. Well, I was looking for the bag and the revolver and the gun, <laughs> Bud Dwyer. <laughs> yes. No, but now he's rolling in cash. Right. Well, and not quite he, yet. His but, new yeah. gig is actually like... Three minutes from my house now. You literally could walk. He could walk to work if he wow. worked where I work. It's that close. Yeah, oh, but he's nice. already been informed he's not allowed at my house after he gets out of work at any point. Well, I was thinking <laughs> he could go to your house for lunch. Just say, how about lunch? Yeah. 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 Dinner. All right. Uh, so today um, we are doing a Bob topic. So Bob. Yeah. Bob, so Bob, Bob, this Bob, one Bob. I've had on the books for a little while because there was a discussion. A few, uh, probably been a couple months ago that uh, I heard that was uh, talking about um, Philip Seymour Hoffman passing because I guess it was the anniversary of his death or something and his widow wrote an article about it or whatever so they were talking about it and, and I got to thinking wow that guy's been in a lot of movies and when I did the research online like we did there was so many movies on here so I immediately thought this has to be a how many topic so before we start giving numbers, give us a number of how many movies he's actually in, so I'll know what range. Oh gosh, I have to count all these, but oh, let's see. Oh, yes. <laughs> Significant. Under Wait. fifty. He said he did the research. Oh, Remember about it's part. probably yeah. right about fifty. Okay, so Bob is looking at a printout. There, there's a this paper. Is, this is the list. <laughs> That has a ton of movies on it. I've been telling him since we started this, get a spreadsheet so that way you can easily get sums and totals and averages. And oh, well, look, I've got, I've got a pen. He's so, got a pen. He's so to do. Bob's feature employer, <laughs> he, uh, he's very uh, not technology driven. No, 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 no. He's he, old school. He has an abacus that he's going to count <laughs> on. <laughs> yes. All right. Uh, well, I'm going to I'm going to go spin. first. <laughs> And um, are we talking where he, not a cameo, this is he has significant time. Yeah, and you know, he's not been a lead in most no, of his he, movies, no. but you know, you remember him typically when he's in yeah. a movie. So a memorable character. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, are we talking memorable character or a memorable movie in which he is in? Well, the movie is obviously what we're counting, right? I think I'm going to base it on how good his performance was, even if the movie was bad. Yeah, like I can I think of one. I can think of one example of a kind of a crappy movie that he's in that he was pretty good in. But there's several that are like. So that. I would make the argument he's, you know, he was good in almost anything. So I don't know if see that's a fair discussion. Hmm. Okay. Um, well, I don't know. It, Think about Brando. Mm -hmm. Brando, a magnificent actor, but he had some movies that yeah, yeah. he just stunk in. But and they weren't really that great of movies. But still, it was okay. a significant. Probably movie. we so. can. I'll tell you what. We'll factor it. Let's say we'll fo focus on the movie. But even if we don't count the movie, we can still talk about him. Okay. In the movie. Okay. So, so but, I think I'm going to say he had a pretty good batting average. And he hit 500. So I'm going to say 25 of the 50 okay. were significant uh, movies. 
All right, Junior. I'm actually going to go higher. Oh, wow. I I remember him being good in tons upon tons of movies. Give me 35. 35? 35. Holy moly. Don't, don't leave me anywhere to go. Thanks. <laughs> I appreciate that. Hey, there's a big gap. Yeah, that's a big gap. Yeah, that's a big gap. Between 35 and 50, hmm, let's see, that'd be a, bat, a thousand here. Well, you no, know? you can go under 35, I too. can. You can undersell them. I, I think I'm going to go 30. Okay, I'm gonna all go right. 30 so. Because, you know, you I, I, I really don't, I don't even think it's there, but okay. Okay, By the okay. Way, listeners, if you hear any thunder or lightning or roofs coming off of people's houses, there is a monsoon going on outside at the moment. Yes. So, well, I, stay yeah. apprised, we may... End up getting pulled into a tornado at a certain point. Right. This <laughs> and we well, have to. It's <laughs> ironic that you mention that because later on the list we'll get to one of his movies involving a tornado. <laughs> 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 okay. No All spoilers. Right. Okay. okay. And so, uh, would you have? Did you yeah, have a guess beforehand? Or? I probably would have been close to twenty-five, maybe in the twenty to twenty-five range. Okay. But I mean, that was now before then, I pulled the list. So and now realized the how many there were. His list is more than fifty movies. Actually, it looks like. A sixty to seventy list. I don't know if it's sixty. It's it's fifth, maybe in the fifties. Okay. But there's a couple early ones here that are like cameos and stuff. So I'm gonna focus a on Fraggle Rock experience yeah. or something. Like you that. know, like triple bogey on a par five hole. That's clearly like a student film or something. Okay, but um, and we're just doing movies, right? No, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah, these are all movies. Okay, all so right. your first, up, right? the first yes. <laughs> significant role and movie he was in a Steve Martin movie from 1992. Leap of Faith. Oh, where he is the evangelist? Yeah. yeah. He's the evangelist. I love that movie. Evangel- it was a evangelist. really good movie. But I, I do not remember Philip Seymour Hoffman's part in it. Yeah, I don't remember him in it either. So I'm not going to count that. Okay. I love the movie because I like Steve Martin in it. And the, the music was really good. Yes, the music was awesome. So it must have been a very small I part. Saw, I can't give him credit. He was really? probably yeah, in the audience. Coming. Burn a copy for me. Now, is that the one that's got, are you ready for a miracle? <laughs> <laughs> Dang it, I wish we had video on this. He must All have right. just been like a audience so, member. Yeah, pretty cool. Or maybe he had, a named, he had a named character, but his name he was Matt. He must he, be a roadie. Healed number one. Now, I do remember him in this next movie from that same year. hoo Sin of a woman. Or as my ex-father-in-law used to call it, Smell the Woman. Ooh. All right, so that's the one where... <laughs> um, Scarface is blind. Yes. Yeah, and and Chris O'Donnell's and driving him around all crazy. Mm-hmm. I don't remember Philip Seymour Hoffman. He was movie. one he of the friends. Of the yeah, he was one of the students, one of the friends. He was like, I think he was Chris O'Donnell's best friend or something. Really? Maybe his dad was the one who... My dad? Yeah, I think if I remember, he might have been his dad was the one, you know, forcing Philip to betray, you know, Chris O'Donnell. Yeah, you know, I think that was... I think yeah. you're right. That made um, He was like the rich, snotty kid, wasn't he? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, I'll defer to you guys. That was a good movie. It was really a good movie, but I don't think it's movie. a significant referral. I don't remember seeing him in the movie. Okay. All right. I, well, I, I'm, I'm sorry. We'll keep moving. Uh, now, some of these I, I very vaguely remember. My favorite movie better be on that list, by the way, or I'll be really upset. Um, yeah, I just I glanced down and saw it immediately. Um, okay, in 93, there's a couple here that I sound vaguely familiar. My Boyfriend's Back. Is that the one where, like, he's, a, he's like a, the boyfriend's a zombie or something like that? That sounds I want to think that is, but no, that doesn't yeah, count. Yeah, it doesn't count. Okay, Money for Nothing, The Dire Straits <laughs> Story. Checks for free. <laughs> Money for Nothing. Now, was that one, wasn't there, like, was that a Dana Carvey, John Lovitz movie, or am I thinking of a different one? It, it does not sound familiar. That okay. doesn't sound familiar at all. Um, the Getaway, that was the remake with... Uh, Alec Baldwin and Kim Basinger. Oh yeah, this is from the old Steve McQueen. Movie. I don't remember him in that. Mm-mm. Okay, I don't yeah, remember him either. Uh, when a man loves a woman, was that Meg Ryan Bolton movie? No, I think <laughs> wasn't, wasn't that what the one where Meg Ryan was all yes, alcoholic? Yes, she up? was alcoholic out. Yeah. Did she whip him out in that one? I don't think she ever did. Or was that oh, just she did once. in the cut? Sir, this is the Mitch <laughs> era. What in the what? Stop giving me it. In the what? <laughs> In the cut. In the cut. Oh, okay. I thought I heard an N in there somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't saw that. That would have been a pretty good N if that's what. <laughs> <laughs> um, Nobody's Fool, the Cinderella story. Yeah. No. <laughs> Boy, yeah. Every one of these 
movies. It's, it's a song title. <laughs> <laughs> Nope, uh, nobody's full, by the way. Probably one of Cinderella's five? Like two. Okay, um, Hard Eight. That's the first one he did with Paul Thomas Anderson. Named after the restaurant, right? No, not the bar- <laughs> well, although, although they do have dice on their sign. so. <laughs> but this is the one where um, William H. Macy's the, the guy. He's a the, the big gambling guy. Wow, so William H. Macy and mm-hmm. Philip Seymour Hoffman... Well, it's all, they're all Quite Paul it. Thomas Anderson movies, like Boogie Nights and... and um, Which we'll get to later. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, Does anybody remember him in Heart 8? No. no. It says his role was Young Craps Player. So yeah, he didn't even... Sorry, yeah. <laughs> if you don't have a name, it's yeah. just a title. Um, okay, okay, now we're getting somewhere. This is probably the first one where people actually remember seeing him in something. Twister. Yes. Yes. I remember yes. him in Twister. I remember him in Twister. I thought yes, I saw I agree. Just, Less than a month ago, I was watching Twister. Okay. So. And we're pretty much living Twister outside. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think I saw a cow. A cow. A cow. Dang cow. It. Same one. <laughs> Boy, he's, this is where he really starts hitting hitting the stride quick. Boogie Nights. Yes. yes. He is <laughs> genius in Boogie Nights. He is. Especially when he has that really awkward kiss with... Uh, Marky Mark and does big panic. Well, didn't he come up to him <laughs> oh, in the car? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He's like, oh, this is such a cool car. Yeah, oh. <laughs> oh, I love yeah he's very good. Here, 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 here. Yeah. Keep coming. All right, open them. This is it. It's <laughs> cool. Yeah. You want to get inside? Uh, when did you get this? Uh, yesterday. Oh, actually, I had it painted yesterday, so it might the paint might still be kind of sticky. Or... This is great, man. Yeah. This is really great. You want to go for a ride? Or... Wait, 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 wait. Fuck, hell, how much time is that? <laughs> I'm sorry, What the hell was the matter with I'm you? I'm sorry. I, uh, Why did you do that, Scotty? Uh, you look at me sometimes. What? I want to know if you like me. Well, of course. Yeah, I like you, Scotty. I... Can I kiss you? Scotty, I don't... Please, can I kiss you on the mouth? No! Please let me. Scotty! Well, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to grab you like that or scare you or it's anything. It's all right, man. Do you want to kiss me or... Scotty. No? What's no. the matter with oh, you? I forget it. I'm just... I'm really drunk. Really, I am. I'm just... I'm, I'm out of my head. I'm so... Wa- I'm really wasted. Really, Dirk. Yeah, I'm really just wasted. That. I'm crazy right now. I'm, I'm really crazy. Do you want to go you back know? inside? Uh... Do you like my car, Dirk? What? I mean... Yeah, yeah. Because I wanted to, you know, it, uh, I wanted to make sure you thought it was cool or else I was going to take it back. Oh. Yeah. It's great, Scotty. Happy New Year. Yeah. Happy New Year, Scotty. I love you. I really yeah, love you. I love you, you too, Scotty. Okay. Yeah, let's go back inside, okay? All right. I'll, all right. Uh, the next one is Montana... About the NFL's all-time best quarterback, maybe? Or Hannah Montana? No. I, I, I've no, never no, heard no, of that no, one. Okay. No. Um, so next, it's about the, an Arby sandwich. <laughs> big man. Montana. Montana. Oh, and this one, apparently about hanging out in malls in San Antonio in the 70s. Next stop, Wonderland. <laughs> Wonderland Mall. <laughs> Doesn't sound familiar. No. Nope, nope, sounds nope. like an indie film. All right, here's a, this one's huge. The Big Lebowski. Yes. The Big Lebowski. Yeah. Very Which nice. is an overrated movie. By that the is top. not. Now, I will oh, say wow. this. Scott now, is, Scott is now I will say this. I love that movie. It's one of my favorite movies, but it's also the biggest 180 I ever did after the first time yeah, I saw see, it. I hated that movie the first I time think, I saw it. I think I'm in Bob's stage of grief right now because I've only, <laughs> seen it, I've only seen it once. Oh, you need to see it again. I don't know what it is about that first viewing, but I was like, this is the stupidest, That's worst exactly movie I ever I saw. About but it. then every time ever since then, I watched it as greatness, total so greatness. I guess I need to get into Bob's second stage of grief and watch it again so that way I can start appreciating it. Because right now, I'm in stage one. The dude. Yeah, the, the dude abides. Scott, you kind of feel like you kind of live. <laughs> yeah, my boy, he is it. the Jeff Bridges of. Yeah, you kind of are the, the dude. How many? You are the dude that. of our podcast. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay, now this is where Junior is going to take us on a twenty-minute um, segue detour. Happiness. Happiness. Okay. Did you bring up everybody? <laughs> is a top five all-time movie, and his character in that movie is. Such greatness and such shake laugh. Have you guys seen Happiness? I have. I know Bob has because me and Bob saw it together. Give, give me the plot so I can kind of think about it. Okay, it's a it's like a bunch of different stories intertwined. Like a bunch so of it's kind of like, a, it's kind of like a Robert Allen you know, type movie. Uh, oh. 
as Junior was talking, Bob went over to get lunch, uh, food. He's like, okay, this is going to be a while. I don't need yeah. it. <laughs> Even though he's I can go take a bio break. Well, no, because he knows how long you're going to be gone. So, uh, the <laughs> movie this. revolves around a couple of different members of a family. Yeah. And uh, one aspect of the movie is about a, a pedophile child molester and how... He, See how why he, this is Junior's favorite movie? <laughs> it's all clear now, very clear. How he um, entices his friends to bring his buddies over for sleepovers just so he can uh, roofie them. <laughs> this is terrible. That's, one, that's just one aspect of the movie. It's, 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 that's it's enough. The, it's that is the, the most what? offensive. It's the feel good hit of the summer. It's the <laughs> Michael Jackson movie. Feel but, um, Philip Seymour Hoffman's character is this is he really, a, is he an Olympic physician or something? No, no. He's a very downtrodden office worker that it has a crush on one of the other members of the family, the sister. And he's constantly calling her um, and doing like a dirty phone call. Oh, I'm, as soon as I get you, I'm gonna rape you. I'm gonna f you so hard. Comes gonna be shooting out of your ears. Oh, like. <laughs> Hello. I know who you are, and you are nothing. You think you are nothing, but you are nothing. You are empty. You are a zero. You are a black hole. And I'm gonna f you bad. You're gonna be coming out of your ears. Shit! <laughs> he, he gets in the he gets a phone book and he randomly calls people and starts. And, Wasn't that and when he, he gets a girl on the phone? He'll start saying, "Oh, so uh, yeah, this is who you think it is. So what are you wearing right now? Are you wet? Are you wet? <laughs> oh my god! So and then, but the best part is when he finishes. There has not been a best <laughs> part yet. When he this is the only movie <laughs> of all time. He has he has a a, a stack of uh, postcards. And he always finishes into them so he can put them on the wall. Oh, my God. He saves, saves a lot of money on super glue. All right. But it, it's, 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 I am so it? glad I am not editing because this would all leave the episode. <laughs> wasn't, one of, wasn't one of the women he called that lady that was on all those lawyer shows, that heavy lady that was no, no, Matt no. So, steamroller? So that's another aspect of the movie. So that lady is, yeah. has a crush on Philip Seymour Hoffman. Philip oh. Seymour Hoffman does not like her at all. Um, but she ends up, spoiler alert, she ends up killing like a handyman in the apartment complex that they live in. Um, she like breaks his neck and then she reaches out to Philip Seymour Hoffman and confesses the murders and stuff. There, it's a lot of different stories that are intertwined together and they all revolve around this certain family. Um, but Philip Seymour Hoffman is, is an outside part of it. He's not in the family itself. And wasn't there one scene... Where the family is like eating at the table or something, and the kid just comes up and handles up and right next on to the, the balcony, <laughs> and then comes in and literally and tells the rest of the family, "I came." <laughs> and the grandparents and the parents are just looking at him like in disgust. And then the dog comes and cleans up. <laughs> <laughs> so Jesse is on Amazon ordering the DVD, or the Blu-ray, right now. He like he's got a smoke. I own I own the DVD. It's a genius movie. Uh, me and my girlfriend have watched it, and she thought it was hilarious. Well, I will vote <laughs> yes if we can move on. Yeah, <laughs> it counts. It counts. Maybe his best role. Okay. Well, wrap, following up that joyous filming, he went <laughs> to another feel-good movie, Patch Adams, and that was one of the movies I was thinking of that he's good in, but the movie's kind of kind of a failed bit, kind of a That's bit. the Robin Williams. Robin Williams, Williams, like Robin Williams crustying it up at the hospital. Yeah. Yeah, he's the I, doctor. Yeah, so. he can. I think that counts. Okay. I, 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 did not, I did not dislike that movie. There's very few Popeye's the only Robin Williams movie I really never liked. Yeah, he doesn't have a lot of bad... Uh, toys was kind of... Toys, yeah. Toys was... Bicentennial awkward. Man, man. Oh, I, I, that was based on an Isaac Asimov yeah. story that I really liked. Well, right. we'll talk yeah. about that when we do the Robin Williams comedy. Yes. Well, sorry. <laughs> sorry. That'll be a high number. He's probably. Or have we already done one? Have we not no, done we one? Not. No, we oh, not. Wow. That that's that's BBC the list. Right there. Yes. Okay. Uh, I've never heard of this one before. Uh, even though it's a Joel Schumacher directed film, and he's a known director, Flawless. Does that sound familiar? Yeah, I believe oh. isn't that with Robert De Niro, and uh, I think uh, he's the gay neighbor. Maybe I'm confusing hmm, something that, else. You know, you might be right. You yeah. Might be right. Uh, I, I am not familiar But it would not, I, I don't think it should count. If we don't recognize that 
mm-hmm. movie right away. No. Now here's one that I hated the first time I saw it, and I and still way, hate it. Yes, that is what it is. Uh, Robert De Niro is a police officer who's very conservative, very bigoted, has a stroke, and Philip Seymour Hoffman plays his gay neighbor and helps him through the stroke. And it's okay. It's, it is an actually, I do remember that now. It actually because he wasn't all in drag and everything. Yes. He yeah. Does. Yeah. I yeah. remember that now. I remember <laughs> sure. that now. Yeah. So. I'm not familiar with it, but I'll defer. Okay. I, I, Are we counting that one? I don't know it. No, I don't think so. Okay. I mean, I I'm just it. saying it. It is a damn a lot better than freaking yeah, happiness. happiness. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Jesse. Happiness does have a lot of shake. Bob, Bob saw it. You, you can back me up on. I that. mean, I'm it's, not alone. It's when not we a, watched it in 1990. Let's, let's move on. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> They're laughing just like I was. And the beginning with John Lovitz when he rages up at that girl at the dinner table. That part is okay. As well, we'll rewatch that. Um, that'll be a group activity. All right. Uh, this next one, I just this is one of my least favorite movies of all time. Although there is one part of the movie I think is funny and I enjoy it, but Magnolia, another nice. Paul Thomas Anderson movie, the one where it rains frogs. Oh my God! But so Tom cool. Cruise, is yeah, the, the Tom Cruise bit genius. in that movie is hilarious. Where he's the motivational speaker. <laughs> it respects all I can. <laughs> I remember watching the movie and I thought it was good. All I can remember is. Um, the um, when he lost Best Supporting Actor yeah. to um, Kane, Michael Kane, Michael Kane, Michael Kane, in his acceptance speech says, "You know, Tom, welcome to this. You've you've you know you've joined the ranks of people where you're not going to get paid much and everything. You know, <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's um, you know that's a significant movie. Yeah, I mean, I I'm not I don't like it, but, but I yeah. count it. Yeah, I, I never saw it. it. I never it. saw it. it. It's, it's good. He has a big role in it. So okay. I, I, my vote's out, but you guys. Okay. Here's another big one from that era, 99. The talented Mr. Ripley, where Matt Damon was, like, killing people and yeah, stuff. Yeah, I, I have not <laughs> seen that movie. So I'll have to <laughs> I understand. I, I just, it didn't sound like a, you know, I'm a Walt Disney kind of movie guy. <laughs> so, yeah. I did I, not see it. Okay. See okay. It. All right, fair enough. Uh, State and Maine. Not familiar. No. Mm-mm. This is a big one. Cameron Crowe, almost famous. Yes. yes. Yeah. That's yeah, greatness. He's that. very good in that. Yeah. Yes. He was and Lester Banks, a, Bangs, movie. a yeah, real Lester rock Bangs, critic. Yes. yes. Um, Isn't that like a, a kind of sort of idol, idol, autobiography? Yes. It yeah, was. yeah. It Cameron Crowe, yeah, because like he was Crow. a teenage Rolling Stone writer. Cameron Crowe, that would be another good how many. Yeah, yeah. And um, Okay, this one, Love, Liza... Never heard of it. Who? <laughs> Not Manelli. Not Manelli. <laughs> oh, this one is another Paul Thomas. Man, he has been in a lot of Paul Thomas Anderson movies. And this is this is an Adam Sandler one. I still need to see this. I can't believe I've still never seen oh, this. Punch, Punch, Punch Drunk, Drunk Love. Love. That is another genius movie. That I will agree needs. with you. That is a good movie. <laughs> so Philip Seymour Hoffman is the guy that runs the uh, the sex line. That uh, Adam Sandler wants his money back because they stole all of his money. Mm-hmm. That he has a good, a very funny role in that movie, and the movie itself is very funny. Hmm. Listen to me. What's your name, sir? Answer me. What's your name? I'm Barry Egan. How do I know? You can be anybody. You're a person. You have no right taking people's confidence in your service. You understand me, sir? No, no, no. Shut up! Shut the f You have no right to take this Shut control. up! Will you shut up! Shut up! Shut, 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 shut up! Shut up! Now! Are you threatening me, dick? Why don't you. You go f yourself! Oi! Did you just say go f yourself? Yes, I did. That wasn't good. You were dead. I I would give that one a big thumbs up. Okay. Jesse, you said you've seen it. Is this going to yeah, go? Yeah, I agree. Your list of, of movies. Okay, each of us picks a movie that the other. No, out. happiness would be. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> he is forcing a happiness screening on us. <laughs> Bob, would you agree? With that? I would be a, I would be on board that if we wanted to do that one recording session, and you can edit this out, but. Each of us pick a movie that the others haven't seen, and then we that that would be four episodes where we discuss it. Yeah, actually, yeah. would be pretty good. I, mean, I yes. think that'd be I yeah. Think I think that'd, that'd be, be an. I really want to hear 
what Jesse says, but he even makes it through happiness. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, I I would do it for the get, show. You would get to the part where the the pedophile goes into the Seven Eleven, buys the Teen Beat, and then goes into his car and rubbles <laughs> it up. out to the Teen no, Beat. No, spo- quit spoiling all the funny scenes. I think you'd be out at that point. Okay, right? that's okay. I would okay. do it for the show. Here's another one, um, and I think this was like a. Uh, Silence of the Lambs sequel or prequel, Red Dragon? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Is he the one that gets melded to the chair? I think so, yeah, Freddy. Yeah, he, mm-hmm. he gets put into the, the chair. Yeah, it was It was actually, it was made before Silence of the Lambs. Oh, wow. And right. then it was remade later on. Um, yeah, it was called like Manhunter. Well, Manhunter, yeah, yeah Manhunter, Manhunter was the one before Silence right. of the Lambs. Yeah, and this one, um, Hannibal Lecter is actually in it. And uh, Ed Norton is, uh, I forgot the, the name of the he's detective. The, he's the cop. Yeah. Oh, he played Clarice? No. No, no. <laughs> no <laughs> Boy, that's he, a switcheroo. He's the, he's the cop that actually uh, trains Clarice? Or no, or he introduces Oh, Scott Clarice. Glenn? He's the Scott he's Glenn the Crawford. character? Scott Jack Crawford? Yeah, yeah, wasn't that the Scott Glenn? Yeah, yeah. It, yeah. it was something like that, but it counts. Okay. Um, here's another one, and this is a Spike Lee movie. 25th Hour. I think Edward Norton was in that one too, wasn't he? Never That's saw not a bad movie. It's not a great movie, but um, I don't remember Hoffman's part in it, so I'm going to say no. I don't remember. But this was either. the idea. Norton's going to jail, and so it's the date 24 hours before he's going to jail, and so 25th Hour is you wish you had one more hour before you had to report for prison. Okay. Something along that line. I'm not familiar with it. <laughs> no, I, I, I don't, I don't think it's worth it. See it. Not worth it, Bob? No, I'm, I'm just laughing at this next one because I already got a bit farted, even though I've never seen it before. But apparently, giggling. This, this is some sort of police academy spinoff. <laughs> so, owning Mahoney. Mahoney? What? Yeah. Owning Mahoney. Mahoney. Yeah. And, and uh, Bob right now is doing his fake coming on the star. <laughs> Do it again. There's about ten different times in the Police Academy movie where Lassard is a Mahoney. <laughs> Bob is shake laughing. I don't know why. That's so funny. No, I haven't seen Police Academy in like 30 years and that still makes me laugh. Okay. I've never heard, I've never heard of it either. And he, nope. he does play Dan Mahoney. <laughs> no. I'm, no. Okay. This, is a, this next one is a big movie. Um, Cold Mountain. That's like a Civil War thing, and oh, I remember yeah, like yeah. Renee Zellweger was yeah. in it, and Jack White. It sounds familiar, but I don't remember. Did you yeah. ever see that, Jesse? No, I think I did, but I don't remember. I don't think it's worth. Man, I'm not sure I'm gonna make my yeah. thirty here. Well, I, I was gonna say we, <laughs> yeah. we're way yeah, overshot. We are being yeah, tough yeah, on now. There's still a lot, a lot on the list, and, on the list. Yeah. and we're gonna go through. I think we're gonna check most mm-hmm. of these off. Yeah. Um, definitely this one. <laughs> make it rain. <laughs> Oh, Long that, came that is his second best character. <laughs> Sandy, Sandy Lyle. Lyle and Long Came Polly. Let burn it, I'm burning. I'm burning. <laughs> Ice Man. <laughs> Are you. Let him ride! So I did a lot of thinking last night. There's something I'm pretty excited about. What's up? Nice. Let him ride! Well, I feel like I might be ready to move on. You know, get my life back on track. So. I'm going to ask Polly Prince on a date. Oh, that's a mistake. She's not right for you, dude. Rain dance! Hey, you guys want to play some twos? You know what? Actually, we're kind of in the middle of a conversation. You so. douchebags bring your A game? What was that? <laughs> I'm just messing with you, Sasquatch. Let's get it out. Take it roll! Take it roll! Outlet! Outlet! Rain dance! You guys all familiar with the Long Came Polly? Ben, ben Stiller, Jennifer Aniston. Love yes. that movie. Yeah. That is a genius movie. And his character specifically. And such genius. Yes. Uh, and, you know, with the. Uh, you know. <laughs> yes, because he was a. He was a cute kid in one, you know, movie a long time ago. And. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that's a great movie. And not only. Uh, you know. Um, Junior on the ticket talks about it all oh, the yeah. time. Oh, yeah. They've got oh, yeah. drops. They, they play. Drops all the time. <laughs> yeah. 
But not only the is games. his... Not only is his... Well, oh, yeah, Miles of Miles are good games. Is also a great that, and that isn't that the movie where Ben Stiller has the big panic frag from the Indian food? Yes. Uh, <laughs> and, and that also is the movie where Hank Azaria is the scuba instructor. Oh, yes. yeah. Hey, scuba. Oh, scuba. Yeah, and then at the end, and uh, I sharded. Yeah. Yeah, I sharded. Yeah, that's, yes, that's that a big is, must-see. That is... Yeah, yes. that one counts. Yeah. Okay, the next one, I think this is a movie version of the TV series, which I never really saw, Strangers with Candy. Oh, the Juno movie. Isn't that the one where Juno is like a... No, you're thinking of Hard Candy. Or oh, something. okay. No, Strangers with Candy is oh, that yeah, sketch yeah, troupe yeah, yeah. that had that lady that... that one chick. Yeah, yeah, and she did that crazy There's a character. movie version of that lady with the crazy face. Yeah, I think, I'm think i assuming it's the same thing. Have you ever seen her not making that face? Not That's really. the only thing I've ever seen. That she's actually fairly Amy Sedaris. Yeah. Really? She's she's I'm actually kind of well. Like, wow. And but so Amy Sedaris nude. No, <laughs> she's also not interested in any of us. So oh wow, yeah. She even makes her more more though, a little more of the other team kind of thing. Hard to get. Come on. Um, all right, now this one. <laughs> this is right. one that none of <laughs> this next one. I don't. I'm guessing none of us have probably seen, but he won the Oscar for it, so it counts. Oh, Capote. Capote. Yeah, I, I, I did not no, see Capote, but I will count either. it because and, it, and I his accent in that movie is a whip too. I don't think I can. Well, <laughs> Capote's accent was a whip. That's yeah, the whole so point. I don't think I could yeah. sit through two hours of that. And he said, "I feel like you're spiting me." <laughs> I, 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 do you think I took this job to spite you? <laughs> I was writing the script as they were filming all that time in Italy, and I. I worked like mad all day long and then dashed down to the bar around midnight to end in the next day's scenes. And Humphrey had, had, had just about moved into the hotel bar. Humphrey Bogart. Where he and John. John Houston. <laughs> had, uh, they drank every night. And I mean drank, you know, like famished water buffaloes. Okay, so for some reason he didn't show up on the first two of this, but Mission Impossible Three. Oh, because he was the bad guy in Mission Impossible. Yeah, and he 3. was really he was good. Really, in he it. was really good. That was yeah, nice. that was yeah, he. Those he good. was that. Those are solid. That's been a solid series. Yes, yeah, it has. Yeah, they're, they're coming out with like new ones, yeah. five or six. Yeah. this summer. Fallout. Um, Fallout. That was, the one that he was in, where he was the bad guy, is probably one of the best ones. You're dead, Mister Dave. you in the bathroom and you're going to tell us everything every buyer you've worked with every organization what the hell is your name names contacts inventory lists you have a my wife girlfriend it's up to you how this goes because you know what i'm going to do next i'm going to find her whoever she is i'm going to find her and i'm going to hurt her You were apprehended carrying details of the location of something codenamed the Rabbit's Foot. I'm going to make her bleed and cry and call out your name. And you're not going to be able to do shit. Do you know why? What is a Rabbit's Foot? Because you're going to be this close to dead. And who is the buyer? And then I'm going to kill you right in front of her. I'm going to ask you one more time. What's your name? What is a Rabbit's Foot? Who are you? And who's the buyer? You don't have any idea what the hell's going on, do you? I mean, you saw what I did to your little blonde friend at the factory, right? I agree. The only one that was stupid was the one where they had the helicopters in the tunnel. That they were like, I think, I that, think was that, that was the first one. one yeah. yeah. Um, okay, this one counts just because he got to have at it with Marissa Tomei and she whipped him out. Before the devil knows you're dead. Ooh, I do not know that, but I'm interested. Yeah. Yeah. So Look the, the, yeah. Out yes. And riding on old. PSH here. Really? Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'll defer. I, I never yes. I've never. I've only seen that scene. I mean, <laughs> multiple times. So Just you got on Mr. Skin. No, 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 no. <laughs> someone, someone referenced it, and and and. And you immediately looked it up. Yeah, we'll not count that one. Okay. Um, <laughs> hey, look at the distance. Oh, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. What's okay. Um, the savages. I guess about the Macho Man's family, but the savages. The savages. I'm not familiar with that one. He was John Savage. 
Mm-hmm. No. Not sure. I okay, this, that one. this next one counts, for me at least. I thought it was really... This movie I liked more than I thought I would. Charlie mm-hmm. Wilson's War. Absolutely. Yeah. He, he played the spy and... Wasn't Tom CIA, Hanks in that? Uh, yeah. yeah, he yeah. played Charlie Wilson. Yeah, that's really... Aaron it was Sorkin. Julia Roberts in yes. that also? Yeah. And, yeah. you know, isn't that the movie where Rhines' niece or something is in? What's the Rhines' niece that they always reference... Candy or Barbie or something like that. I think she does have a small part. Yeah, in it. yeah. She's it's not his her. niece. It's the chick that used to go out with Stevie Ray Vaughan that he's friends with. Okay, yeah. okay. I know there was some correlation there. What's her name? I forget her name. She's like a stripper or something. No, right? she was a model. I know about yeah, yeah, something. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. Oh, in the movie, in the okay. movie there's a model chick. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, this one, I'm not even sure how to pronounce it. Is it Schenectady, New York? Schenectady. Yeah. Next stop. Connected. <laughs> Got nothing. No. Not familiar. How about doubt? Huh? No. Who? Doubt. Doubt. No. I doubt it. Oh, doubt. you know what? Is that the movie where he's like a priest? And, uh, oh yeah, that yes, like a nun that's in the- yeah, yeah. That is, I remember yeah. that now. I the only thing I remember about that movie was the theme song. So we count that or no? Yes. I, I, I oh, okay. I'll count it. it. I'll uh, remember we it. We saw it. It's a very depressing movie, as yeah. you would think. It Just would about be. any movie about yeah. priests are depressing. It's hard to do a. <laughs> Possible pedophile because I just I can't think of any movie about pedophilia that would be funny. Yeah, I do remember. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Which also, we'll yeah. Um, we watch it together. So Philip Seymour Hoffman, multiple pedophilia roles. Okay, um, he's kind of got that look about him. <laughs> well, yeah, think about he's it. got a creepy vibe. Um, okay, I think this might have something to do with the Vikings and Fred Smoot, the boat that rocked. The Vikings, that, the Vikings, Prince. yeah, well, didn't they have that big party boat yeah. incident? I'm I don't not, know what I'm the not boat. Familiar with that I movie. don't know the boat that rocked. Um, the next one, oh, this was a big Rick, Ricky Vergace, Ver, Gervais vehicle. Mr. Simington? You know, the invention of lying. Uh, is that the one where he? Uh, that sounds familiar. Like he has to tell the truth or something. Not liar, liar, but uh, no. that was Jim Carrey. <laughs> yeah, liar, liar was Jim Carrey. The, uh, invention invention of of lying? Lying? the invention of lying. This is more of a discussion between Bob it, and Sotero here because I, I, I don't, I didn't see it. I remember, I remember it, but I never saw it. A never comedy saw set it. in a world oh, okay, where yes, no one has actually, ever lied. Um, this is a thinly um, veiled um, pro atheism movie. You know the idea. Oh yeah, because he's all Jarvis, atheist. Up. Yeah, and so. He, no one had ever lied, and Ricky Gervais starts telling a lie, talking about that there's this wonderful creator upstairs uh, and everything, and it's, uh, it's not a bad, you know, so, and they never Not had Billy fiction. Graham's favorite movie. No, so, um, <laughs> Stay Hard. Okay, Stay Hard, yes. He would make our list when we talk in July about oh, the significant deaths. Yeah, I, um... I thought it was an actually a decent movie, but yeah. I don't remember Philip Seymour Hoffman in it, so yeah, I wouldn't I count it. He was either. Jim the bartender, so yeah. oh, probably well, a small yeah, role. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Jack goes boating, so two out of three boat movies there. Mm-mm. Jack, Jack goes, goes boating. Yeah, <clears throat> I think that was like an indie. Not familiar. No. Mm. Uh, this one I remember, Moneyball. Yes, like the yes. Oakland A's. Yeah, that was really good. In that's it. a good one. Um, <clears throat> he, uh, he was nominated or something. For yeah, I think Oscar. he did get. He played Art Howe. Bob is choking on the sausage that he No, I, yeah. sw- I had a Corby Scott Bayo after school special <laughs> thing there. That a Burt Bubble? Yeah, the Burt Bubble. Um, Beware the Ides of March. Now, is that the Clooney movie? Yeah, it's directed by George Clooney. Um, I don't remember him in that movie. I want to say I saw that, though. Anybody I, familiar with that one? No, no not that's, at all. Let's pass. Now, the next one... I remember I was really excited about seeing it. It wasn't terrible, but it wasn't as good as I was hoping it was going to be. Paul, Paul, another Paul Thomas Anderson movie, The Master. The Master. The Master. Yeah, is that the? Uh, That's the El- Yeah, it's the. I have it's not the fake seen El- that. Hubbard. I want to. A By lot the way, of Eyes of March better than I thought. 
I, I, I remember oh, okay. seeing that, but it's not. I still wouldn't count it. Okay. The, I would count the Master. Yeah, the Master was huge. Um, mainly, it's a big Joaquin Phoenix tour de force. Okay, I need character. to see that. But yeah, um, the character. Yeah, and Philip Seymour Hoffman played the fake L. Ron Hubbard. Yeah, he's like the main yeah. guy okay. the cult yeah. they're running. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't remember this one. A Late Quartet. No. 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 Very indie. No. Okay, um, we probably should go ahead and count all three of these together, but we can count them individually. The Hunger Games movies. I think he was only in two of them. No. They've listed him in all three. He so. is. Well, he only four. Wasn't There's there? four? Yeah, because the, the third movie was split into two yeah. halves. Hmm. So I think he was... Oh, okay. He was from the second to the fourth. Yeah, you're right. You're yeah. right. Because the, the second two that are on here are part one and part two. Yeah, so he wasn't in the first Okay, one. okay. But, so he was in three of yeah, them. Yeah, but I would count him in all the other... He had a I'll, big role in those. I'll give. And, yeah, it's, I'll and give. it's either all or nothing on those. I think. <laughs> yeah, and, 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 uh, you and he was... He played... I, you know, I like the books, and I really like the movie... And I thought he was really good in it. And he he died before the last movie right, came out. Right, so they so, had to rewrite yeah. the ending. So they had a hologram? Yeah. No, <laughs> well, and then, and then um, Woody uh, ends up reading what his... Like, it would have been Philip Seymour Hoffman talking to Jennifer Lawrence. Instead, they had Woody Harrelson. He wrote a letter for you. Oh, you know? And so okay. it was nice, yeah. That was a good workaround, actually. Yeah, it was. Okay, now I don't think either of these last two are going to count. God's pocket. No, man, we're already up to his. Yeah, and a most wanted man. No, no, no don't remember those. Okay, remember. so we actually almost got up to Jesse's number on here. Nineteen. Oh, yeah, wow. Nineteen. Yeah, really? didn't even make it to man, twenty. I yeah, no. man, so I bad. way oversold him. See, this is what I get for. <laughs> Well, I'm usually a and I, and I do think we were tough on this. But, yeah, uh, there was a lot of stuff we didn't count. Yeah, but that, because yeah. you know, uh, yeah. But so. I think that's rightly so. I mean, if you're talking average person, you know, yeah, they're not going to be able to. Go, oh yeah, this one, this one, this one, this one. Yeah, uh, died at 46. Uh, way too Breaking young. news. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, addiction. I know that. Um, I guess uh, Aaron Sorkin. When they were doing Charlie Wilson's War, they were out smoking, um, and they had a discussion about. Um, I think they had said that you know one of us, based on our history of addiction, there's a good chance one of us will, be one of us will die of an overdose. Oh wow! That's and dark. Um, so yeah, it was so. Uh, yeah, uh, great topic, great actor, and... Uh, and the, the takeaway is, see happiness, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> or at least along came Polly. That's definitely... Along came Polly. Well, I think the take... Well, yeah, the, I, I, I agree with that. I, you know, um, and if you want to see him in a very different kind of role, I we didn't pick Flawless, but now that I remember, that was a very... Uh, you see Robert De Niro in a very different role, and there's a nice interaction there. All right, uh, so that's us. Uh, if you want to reach out to us, uh, I am at Jesse Jackson DFW. I am at Metzkin underscore Junior on Twitter, even though we never log into Twitter and look at it. <laughs> I do. So you can catch me on Facebook if you know me or if you don't. And uh, you can always send me an email, MetzkinJunior at Hotmail.com. All right. I'm uh, at Scott underscore Matula on the Twitter. And you can find me on the Facebox. And uh, I'm on Twitter at Lukewarm Tallboy. Bob is probably the most active member of the Twitter. Community Jesse's on Twitter quite a bit. Yeah, but and Scott's yeah. been on there more lately. I've been on there a little bit more. Yeah. My son's quite the Twitter. And stuff. you can follow the show's Twitter. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Ooh, how many podcasts? Yay! Yeah. Actually, you know what? We should get a Facebook uh, comedy. Yeah, we should. Well. Uh, we'll do All that. four of us would be on that. <laughs> yeah. So, um, of course, Bob wouldn't like our. Uh, yeah. Many no, I definitely probably. like it. I like. I always. No, I, I always like it. <laughs> and we uh, we need to take a photo of all four of us uh, today because currently the how many podcast uh, photo is uh, Bob, me, and Junior all on the big uh, Bowling for Spares picture. <laughs> Which, like about 20 years ago. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, so thank you guys. Uh, we appreciate it. Please go to iTunes to rate and review the podcast. 
that is how new listeners find us. And if you came over from this podcast because you said, hey, I like Jesse and Seth Lusting Bruce, let's see what else it is. We're sorry we I'm disappointed sorry. you. <laughs> <laughs> and for that, we'll keep hope alive. We'll talk to you soon.